I set up a little scenario here on the Normandy map, uh, primarily because there are no navigation aids on the Normandy map full stop, um, so it's the ideal opportunity to um, show the benefits of the mod. So first of all, what I've done is at uh, saint croix sur mer I've placed uh, a, a TACAM beacon. Now what I did there, it's very simple, you go into aircraft, it won't automatically set refueling, you can set the country as you want, uh, but you can place an aircraft down. Now because I've placed it down already, um, it's already selected as TACAM B. So what I will do is I'll place that on the ground there. So it's in the refueling section, so you must, reset, you must select a refueling, uh, and then it will list all of the refuelers that are available to you. Uh, and start out at the very bottom is TACAM B. So that's how you would put it into mission in the first instance. So let's delete that because we don't need it because I've already placed this particular beacon here. Now automatically it will go one tanker A in the advanced waypoints and two activate TACAM bearing 1x TKR unit. So if we open that up uh, it shows you exactly what it is. Now basically it's set to channel 1 x-ray uh, because it believes that it's an air-to-air -air refueler. We can't use Yankee uh, because we can't uh, use the ship type scenario that's only available with Attackan as a semi-ground unit. So I modified it using an aircraft and that's why it uses the air-to-air -air option which is channel mode x-ray. What we can also do at the same time is we can add to uh, the actual model itself and I'll just show you the model. For those who have not seen it, it's a portable TACAN unit. I've created the picture at the top so you don't confuse it with a tanker aircraft. Um, I've automatically set its fuel to nil so it won't go anywhere. Now what we can do is we can set up the actual TACAN beacon to be a radio beacon as well uh, for the use of ADF direction finding for helicopters. So what I've done here at saint croix la mer Sumer, sorry, is I set the frequency to 0.2, it's on the AM modulation and I've given it a power of 100. What I've also said as well at the same time based on that premise, I've selected a sound file. Now I have a sound file here an OGG file that is actually Morse code which spells out Sierra Charlie Sierra Mike San Quan Sumer and that will play on a loop in the background to know when I'm in the helicopter and I'm tuning to that particular beacon that I've found the right beacon. So that's how I've set that up. So it can act as a TACAN and a radio beacon for aircraft or helicopters. I'm thinking aircraft wise the F-86. What I've also done as well is I've set up a, a little FARP location here and it's um, at, forget, the names on the map are terrible to be able to find, here it is. So it's Langrun sur mer and I've set up a little FARP location here uh, and I've put a TACAM beacon here as well so that you can find your way home if you wanted to as a helicopter. So again, it's got a TACAN activation. Uh, I've actually set it to 69 X-ray this time round. Um, and for the radio frequency, I set it to 0.22, so that's 220 megahertz. And because it's Land Ground Sumer, I've actually got here a, a, an OGG file that will play Morse code of LSM. So that way I can find my back, way back home if I need to. So it has dual functionality and does this particular mod if you want to use it for that. What I've also done is I set up um, a wee harrier here on the runway um, so that I can test each beacon uh, from a TACAM perspective. And I've also got the helicopters here. I've made the Huey uh, a flyable option and I will tune its ADF frequency to 200 so that I can go to saint croix sur mer So join me in sim and I shall show you how this works. 
Okay, then here we are in the pit of the Harrier. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up to go to the farm. In fact, no, we'll go to uh, saint quentin sur mer uh, first off. Let's have a look at this. So what we do first off uh, in the Harrier, uh, we go Tacan. It was uh, Beacon 1 X-Ray. I then press Tacan on the map, hit Tone, hit Air to Air, and it should find the Tacan Beacon. We'll know when we get the signal through. And there we go. It took a while, but we actually get the signal through. And let's look at the, the map. So, looking at the map, we can see that there's a Tacan Beacon there, and we're here. So basically the waypoints are set up to fly to that particular beacon, which is one X-ray. If I now change it to um, Soissons Nerve, 69, then it will move that on the map. So let's do that now. So if I go to Tacan and type in 69 and press Enter, you'll see that it moved on the map and it's now down here. So as you can see, the beacon is there. Let's scale out a little bit. And the beacon is now there. So that's me tuned into the FARP location. So let's go back to 1. And we should end up with saint le sur mer and that's where we're going to be flying to. Centre. So let's take off and do the do. I don't need water as this is a rolling runway start. And there we are, airborne, gear up, nozzles forward, and let's fly towards the signal. As you can see, the signal bar on the waypoint is at the top there. The Takan is 19.4 miles away from us. 095 degrees at 19.6 miles, a little bit of variation. Let's power down a little bit. And there we have it. We're now flying to the Takan Beacon. I won't bore you with the long flight there, or the reasonably long flight. I'll come back when we're over San Juan Sumer. And then following that, I'll show you how the ADF works in the helicopter. And here we are, approaching the Takan Beacon at the airfield San Juan Sumer. Let's do a low level pass. And there's the model of the Takan Beacon, just there. So, job done. So, let's now test the helicopter on the ADF frequency for the same location. Okay, here we now are at the FARP, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the ADF up. So, ADF set, and it's 200 that I need to set it to. There we are. We can hear the Morse code coming through. Sierra, Charlie, Mike, Sierra. So, sorry, Sierra, Mike. You'll also note that the pointer is pointing in the right direction. And we'll take off now and fly towards the airbase. Oh boy, 
you with the flight. I'll bring you back as soon as I get close to the airfield. And here we are, approaching the airfield where the Takan is located. Also, it's the ADF beacon. This can be seen by the needle below. So I hope everyone found that useful. And I hope you enjoy the mod. And thanks for watching. So I'll catch you later. Ciao for now.